Hey, it's Mark again, Weatherman Plus. How y'all been doing today? I hope you have a great day today. It is Sunday, so I hope you have a, a very blessed and magical day. It is October 11th. I am bringing you some potential bad news again. It looks like we're going to have Hurricane Epsilon. It's going to be messing with Cuba. It's going to be messing with Miami. It's going to be messing with the Bahamas. Uh, around the 19th and the 20th of this month, which is about nine days away. We started getting a low pressure over here in the Western Caribbean. And as I follow it, uh, every every six hours, you'll see that it starts to form up really good. And then after it gets pressure, it starts moving, moving north to northeast. Uh, I'm thinking that the cold snap does push it uh, northeast. That's why it's not headed towards the Gulf. But as you can see, I'm going to start going every 12 hours now. And we're at 264. So you can see what goes on. It just sits there and hovers and gets strong over Cuba. And then it starts moving towards Miami. Now at this point, at, nine, at 976 millibars, it is going to be a hurricane. Uh, it is possible it could move more west. Uh, I'm going to check out the oscillation, especially for the Calvin phase. That's what we're going into. That's probably why this is brewing up so good. Uh, 972 over the Bahamas. And they get stronger to 968 as it moves away. Here's another look at it at the 288 hour as it comes up to Florida and the Bahamas. You can see it right there all over the Bahamas as it starts moving away. And it goes away. Now if you look on Tropical Tidbits, I know you like to have another source. Here it is down here. Moving up to Florida. Going over to Bahamas. Showing the exact same path and it's showing the exact same intensity as well. Now, to get a better look at this thing, uh, I put it on 850 millibar winds first. That's uh, 3,200 feet up. That way we can see if it has strength above uh, 10 meters to see if it has a chance to get even stronger than what we're showing now. Now, if you watch down here, you actually see that the uh, wave starts circulating and building itself. And this is on the 19th. Now, let me fast forward it a little bit for you. So it circulates, it builds itself, it starts getting good winds. And then when it heads towards Florida and the Bahamas and going over Cuba, it starts really expanding out and getting some good strength. Now this is on the 22nd. You're getting tropical storm force winds at, at, at southern Florida towards Miami as well as some some 50s some 60s i mean you have hurricanes right right there for sure but you have 40s in orange 50s in red 60s is pink and then you get the hurricane force and the purple but this is the next level up so i will show you the impact levels as you can see it is hurricane force guys i will show you her uh impact levels uh, next just so you can see exactly what to expect because it is going to be a hurricane and on the 10 meter run as well I show that the winds do get stronger than regular hurricane when it starts getting to the 24th and You see you got winds up to a hundred already 101 and this is at 3200 meters. So this if this moves any further west I mean 3200 feet if, if this moves any further west it is going to be a even bigger problem for everybody involved and it gets really strong right there it starts that's where it gets down to 968 Let's see if I can stop it at a good point all right so this is your 3200 meters what I'm going to do is put down the, the 10 meter run now just so you can see exactly what the damage is going to be uh, from this hurricane I already got it loaded, so it should load up rather quickly for us. And also, at the end of the video, I got something special I want to share with you. I did find uh, a verse that I can share with you that proves that just listening to someone speaking of, of the words of the Bible, you get saved. So I will prove that to you as well. Now, here it is on the 21st. It's getting this tropical storm uh, for strength. Starts moving towards Miami. And as it moves towards Florida, now this is your 10 meter run. This is your damage and winds. This is what does everything as far as what you're going to feel. Now, if it moves a little further west, 
this is going to be all over Miami, and it's not going to be a good thing, southern Florida. And as you can see, it is hurricane force strength. It's right on the edge of it, but it is hurricane force strength, guys. So this thing does have potential to do a lot of damage, especially if it, if it moves further west, which I hope it don't. Okay, it's already going to go over Cuba. It's going to go over the Bahamas. This thing is just a powerful little storm. And then it starts moving away. Now the wind gusts. This thing gets a lot of wind gusts, but it does get big, as you can see. Look at that. Look at the size of that. So I'm hoping it goes out and it has some good good uh, winds, that jet stream that's pushing it away from the east coast. I will check that further. I just wanted to throw this at y'all so y'all can see exactly what we got potentially to worry about. Because it is going to be a thing. Now let me put it on the wind gust so you can see exactly what the, the potential wind gust will be. Because it does reach uh, everybody involved that, you, that you've seen as far as the impacts. Get strong. It looks like the wind gust is also going to be in the 40s and 50s and 60s, but still, it's it's a strong system, guys. And as it goes up the coast, you're gonna have problems with with this twisting and turning and pulling of all the waters close to land. So we're going to watch out for this thing. I think this is going to be a real problem that we're just going to be on alert for, guys. Now to get to the point that I was talking to you a minute ago. And if you just watching the video, I appreciate you watching. But the point is, is just listening to somebody reading the Bible blesses you and it does save you. So don't think, oh, it's, I'm never going to be me. I don't want to hear that stuff. Well, let me tell you something. If you go to your Bible, and the King James Version is the one that I love to read. That's the, that's the main one. And you go to Timothy, 1 Timothy's. Chapter 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidden to marry, and commanded to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it, if it be re received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of the good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth pro, <laughs> little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by, pro by prophecy, with the laying on the hands of the, of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. And here's the part you got to listen, guys. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You get that? Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them 
that hear thee. So all you that hear of the words I speak, you are saved by the doctrine just by hearing. So God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. I know there's still so many people without power. I hope they get notified of this before it it, it, it comes any closer. God bless you guys. We have nine days in this thing forms. All glory does go to God. Amen.